Let's do it. What's up, JD Aliens? Welcome back. Hey, y'all know I like bags. <laughs> Shout out to all my bag whores out there. It's time to get into another one. So this one is made by Outjoy. It says it right there. You see where it says right there, Outjoy. I'm guessing they came up with that name because they want you to be having some joy while you're out with this bag. This is one of their smaller options. They do have another bag, which we'll check out in a little bit. But for right now, we're checking out this one right here, which houses for sure a 15 and a half inch laptop because I got one in here right now. But there's some things on the outside of this bag that I really want to show you first. So check it out. So first of all, I want to show you that there are absolutely no zippers on the outside of this bag. This bag is all about security. OK, so while you're wearing this bag, you have absolutely no access to anything on the inside because if you look right here on the side you have this is a usb charging port right here i'm gonna show you this in a bit i got my uh, cable connected right here but this is this is kind of nice man you're gonna like this but on the side you can see there's no traces of a zipper anywhere not even on the top right here as we go through this and on the other side and on the bottom there's no zippers no zippers at all so the zippers are actually on the inside of the bag as you're wearing it, I should say. So we have one right here, that's actually a compartment, and then here's your main access zipper right here. But since we're on this side of the bag right now, I'll show you where they have this uh, ventilation pad right here, which kind of just channels you know, heat out of your back, that way you don't get too sweaty wearing it. But there is a pass-through right here, so you can, I don't know, put this on a luggage strap or something, or a luggage handle on your carry-on. And then they have an elastic strap right here too, that way you can carry something right there or, or kind of hang it on something if you wanted to. This is a plus. I've never really seen something done like this before. But right here, we have this uh, lumbar pouch right here, which you can just open. I don't know what you're going to put in here, man. It's a pretty roomy compartment. You can fit. Uh, uh, this is a Galaxy Note 10, and you can clearly see that that fits in there. But you might not want to stuff this too much because this is at the lower part of your back. This is just for some documents or something like a passport, maybe your wallet, you know, maybe an envelope or a brown bag full of $100 bills, whatever kind of stuff you into. I don't know, but you can stuff it right there and nobody would be the wiser. Now, let me bring these straps around here so you can see. Now, these straps are actually padded very well. Uh, they do have this type of strap right here where it's kind of got this neck piece right here that kind of just hangs over your uh, your shoulders over the top and a very well constructed handle. So you can just snatch this bag up if you needed to and this is not going to rip off and then you're just left with a handle separated from the bag. Over here, this is, you know what, every bag company should think about doing this. Get in here, I need to show you this real quick. This is a, a stretchy bungee type of strap right here, right? This is just a loop, man. It's just that simple. Make a loop. You can either do just a straight up nylon loop or this bungee loop, but every bag should have at least a minimum of one of these on a shoulder strap. I would prefer two. That way you can do your carabiners and stuff if you need to or something like that. But I think every utility backpack should have a loop right here. So good looking out for... Um, for Outjoy for having that right there. I love it. On this side, this is unique, man. I ain't never seen this before either. So this is a suction cup pad for your phone. So you got your strap right here. And then my phone is a little big. So let's just see if it'll slide in there. But if you can get your phone in there, just like that, it actually has some suction on the back. I don't want to take this off of here, but it has suction. So it'll kind of keep your phone in place. But to be honest with you, if I put my phone in here right now, this phone is not really sliding out of there, man. It's already pretty tight. So yeah, look at that, man. It's, it's not going nowhere. Unless you plan on doing like jumping jacks and burpees with your backpack on, I think your phone's pretty safe here because this elastic strap will hold it in. But just in case you don't feel secure in that, they got these little suction cups right there. So that's, that's pretty unique that that's there. I like that. So when you get your bag on, you do have these loops right here. That way you can just kind of whoop and strap your straps on just like that nice and tight and then they can come up real easy because it just slides just like that i like that feature too but now we need to go around to the opposite side of the bag because i do want to show you that this is a weatherproof bag water is just going to glide right off of this thing because of the material it's made out of it's not puncture proof per se but it is like resistant man mr meat is is pretty sharp man look at this mr meat is really sharp and nothing is happening to this bag so that's nice that they you know what i shouldn't be doing that to this bag but i just wanted to prove it to you that this material is like 
it's it's proof proof but now let's get to this charging port so it doesn't come with the cable on the outside but you do have this usb charging port right here you do have to supply your own charger so that's on the inside of the bag and i'll show you where it is in just a moment so my charger is already connected on the inside in the bag but if you just have your cable right here all you gotta do is just plug in on the go and you can have your phone right here on your strap or in your hand as you're using it, just walk around doing whatever you need to do and be charging on the go. So that's that's pretty fly that that is built in right there. You, you Man, you cannot deny Outjoy right now. They're, they're killing it right now with this charging port. That's, that's just clutch. So now let's get into the inside of this thing. Let's open the bad boy up. So once again, the only access you have to your inside compartment is right here inside of this zipper. Now this is a slim profile bag, so you can't be stuffing it with like three days worth of clothes and a whole bunch of junk that don't belong. But it does pack quite a bit of tech in here if you have it. So let's just open it up. So right there, you can see how it opens up and it's got like this 30 degree or 45 degree opening right here, right? But what if you don't want that? What if you wanna open it up just a little bit? So if you just wanna open it up to about right here, you're good. But if you wanna open it up, just lay it flat like at the airport, you just lay this bad boy flat and just open it up. Just have it all exposed just like that. On the opposite side of this side of the bag is the outer portion of the bag. So this is facing away from you as you're wearing it, okay? So here's where I have my battery charger right here. You, this, this cable is included. So this comes with the bag and it attaches to right here where your port is. So let's just put that right there because we don't need it anymore. And there's your pocket where you can slide your charger. And it's a really big pocket. So you can put a, uh, like, I don't know, like a 10,000 milliamp or 20,000 milliamp um, battery charger in there and this is not padded which is fine it's not I don't think it's really supposed to be but for some reason they decided to pad this one this is a padded pocket on the outside not sure why it's padded but it is so that's a good look now right here we have another pouch so you can put a lot of stuff in here man this thing is huge it's it's like huge there's a lot of space in there and it's padded on both sides so you're taking care of there now, if we wanna come up here just a little bit, flip up this pocket, we have another pocket that is relatively huge. Now, this one is not padded right here. There's no padding here, but there's padding here. But on the opposite side, the side that faces away from you, it is padded. So you don't have to worry about having some gear in there and then dropping it and it being squished or anything like that because there's padding on this side of, the, um, of that pocket. But right here, we do have a felt lined uh, sunglasses pocket. It says sunglasses right here, but you could use this for anything, but they have lined it with felt. So that's nice that it's got a soft interior. So if you put your glasses or a phone or something, you know, kind of delicate in there, that's a good look. So that's all the organization you're going to get on this side of the bag, the side of the bag that faces away from you. But if we slide to the part of the bag that goes up against your back as you're wearing it, you see here we have this nicely woven uh, tablet sleeve right here. And this is gonna fit, this is a 10 inch uh, Galaxy Tab S4 right here with the case on it. This is actually uh, the thin case right here, but it will fit with the keyboard case. So even if you have like an iPad or something like that, it, it's gonna fit with the case, even a thick one. And I like how this is padded with that that uh, woven look on it. That's, that's the nice touch they have there. But here we have a laptop compartment. And I love these bungee straps right here. Most of the time, they usually just have one strap that just kind of buckles everything down. And while that works and it's cool, it's nice to see this because this captures it on, on two different sides. That way, if your bag for some reason spills over, this is definitely not coming out. I really like, I've never seen this before to be honest with you. And it just kind of stays there. You can just kind of pull it off to the side and then your laptop slides out. And this is once again, a 15 inch laptop. Um, and it's actually, it's not super thick and it's not super thin, but it does slide in there very, very easily. And then you just put your laptop back in there just like that. And it's stuck in there and it's good to go. And you can trust that it's not going anywhere just in case your bag spills over. It's nice to have that double security there. So as I zip this thing up, I just want to show you how thin this thing is. Once again, it will pack all your necessities. You just can't be overstuffing it with a bunch of junk you don't need to be carrying around anyways. Let me stand it up and give you that profile. So it does come out just a little bit. You got about that much room, man. That's, I don't know, what, what are we talking about here? About four or five inches worth of depth in this bag. 
but it compartmentalizes everything very well. And I think if you're a commuter that just takes maybe a laptop, a couple of notebooks, a tablet, you know, and, and some and some everyday gear, like, you know, some personal effects, some sunglasses and stuff like that. This is gonna be a great bag for you because it has this pocket right here that you can just keep some valuables with you and nobody can uh, access it. Even the main pocket, no, you can put this thing on your back go through an airport and that's one thing i always worry about like if i'm going through an airport i never have my bag like fully on my back with both straps because especially standing in line or something like that because i always feel like somebody can just go in my little pockets and dig in there and and i'll never know right but with this bag you don't have to worry about that because there's no zippers on the opposite side. The only access you have to this bag is from the side that's attached to your back. So if somebody's getting in this bag, that means you probably on the ground and knocked out cold and they took the bag. <laughs> But either way, man, I'm really digging this bag and I'm definitely digging this charger port right here. This is pretty slick, man, from Outdoor. We got another bag coming up from this company and I think I'm liking the direction they're going, but I'm really liking this one, man. This is a nice slim bag for uh, like an everyday commuter to carry the minimalistic kind of stuff that you're gonna need. Either way, I ain't no expert in this kind of stuff. I just really enjoy checking out these new bags, man. And this is definitely some new stuff and you know how we like that new stuff. Shout out to all my bag whores out there. Hey man, I gotta go make some more videos, but if you had a good time checking this one out with me make sure you throw those emoji hands up in the comment section and i'll see y'all at the next one. Oh, so you wanted them cats that like to just run up in a place take what you want then leave huh man you better hit that subscribe and notification button that way you know when i'm over here opening up new stuff and while you're down there you might want to consider tapping that uh join button and becoming a member because membership has its perks see that wasn't so bad all right man i appreciate you and i'll see you at the next one Is that why you are here?